I'm Nate, this is Shoot Fish Productions, and if you're a subscriber to our channel, thanks for watching and coming back, and if you're new, um, thanks for tagging along. So uh, this is the Gamel PT85. Um, we have done a previous video on this where we've done the sort of power test and what have you, but we didn't really sort of show it in action too much, so it's just going to give a little quick review on the gun, and then we're going to take it outside on the range and have a blast up. So uh, if you're interested, keep watching. Okay, um, we recently done a video on the Gamel PT85 Tactical. That's a, a very popular gun, um, and that video has been sort of getting quite popular. Um, I think why it's so popular is, is that's a great gun, that feel good, and that's got all these extras, and that, that just, you know. It's a proper more ninja weapon. <laughs> I call it the boy racer of CO2 yeah. guns because um, we've tuck, actually took the extra bits off, and I think that looks sort of quite reasonable. Now. That's how I'd have it if I, if I was going to, and that's how it is how I use it, to be honest. Um, so anyway, that, so that's the, the PT85 Tactical, and I said that if you wanted a, I recommend it, to be honest, if you didn't want a boy racer, to get the PT85 normal, which is the gun we've got here. So um, it's a normal PT85, very popular gun, it's probably millions been sold. Um, the reason that's popular is because it's a really good value, that's actually a good gun for what it is, that's quite powerful, and as you can see, that's exactly the same. Other than that, other than the barrel. Than the barrel. So um, pretty much the same. Um, everything is the same. The safety is the same. Um, all our broats the same way. It's blowback. Uh, this one actually has got a canister in at the minute, so I'm just got to pull the trigger. So you can sort of hear, and you can cock. No, you can't cock this one. Same as this. You can this one, can't you? Mm. Yeah, didn't realise that. It's just. Ah, safety's on, maybe why? Maybe why? Yeah. Okay, so there we are, exactly the same. Do you think the 85 sounded a bit louder? Maybe because of the extra yeah. pressure, the longer barrel? Could be. Uh, anyway, this, I say this tank has, um, I don't know how long it's been in there, what, however long it's been there, it's actually held the pressure, so that's good, and it has in the, in the tactical as well, so uh, that's a good sign. Um, what more can I say, really? Great gun. Um, if you didn't see the other video, I will just run through. That's the magazine, double-ended. You've got eight shots in each end. Um, just slides in the bottom of the grip there. There's a there's a button on this side you press to release the mag. So you shoot your eight shots, turn it around, pop it back in. Pop it back in and you're, you're ready to go. So, um, push a little gun. Uh, I will just put the safety on because that's got a gas tank in it. Blow back. Um, blowback guns are great fun. I like them. Downside is um, they get through your gas quicker. Um, probably not quite as accurate because of the blowback and the chunking around. Uh, the sights on it, I will just drop the mag out and see if I can show you the sights. Uh, sort of white dots, I don't know if you can see that. There's Yeah, so um, that's the sights. Um, that ain't got no. You know, it's got a little Picatinny rail on the bottom. Yeah, so if you so want, you could fit technically that stuff on, but without the silencer, couldn't do tactical. Or you, this rail thing. Yeah, you that, could. That grips from the bottom, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you could put that rail attachment on, so you could put a sight on it. But show them what's underneath that fake silencer for anyone who hasn't seen the other video. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyone who hasn't seen the other video, that's basically just an extended barrel. Wow. This is not a silencer. It's all for show. Um, I don't think you can even put a silencer on it, can you? Um, but that does give it more power because of the longer barrel. You're getting more velocity. Put the tip in the end of the silencer. I know, mate. I know. I've done it. I've done it plenty of times. Tip in. Come on. I know you're old. But... There we go. Hey. There we go. See? That's one for the blue Okay, so um, PT85, ordinary. I know I've got to take it on the range, give it a blast up. Uh, we'll probably end up putting a new canister in it. Um, let's take it on the range, let's see what it can do. Okay, so um, back side on the range with a PT85. Um, I'm now going to load the mag, one end's already loaded. Um, what I would say about this is um, there's a little picture on there to tell you which way around the pallet go. It can be confusing. Now, with um, 
Cog Tackle. I did have a problem once with a pellets jamming. And basically, um, if you get pellets jamming, that's, you need a pellet seater to push these pellets in a bit more. Um, that was all that was wrong. Uh, once I saw that out, that was fine. So, any problems with pellet jams, maybe change your brand of pellets. Um, that was a problem I had on mine, so that's fully loaded. So I'm just going to blast this off. It's, um, it's got a gas tank in which we don't know how long it's been in there. So safety off. Um, I'm going to try and reset that rat trap uh, down around here, uh, whether I would or not. I don't know. So it's feel quite empty, actually. Yeah, that sounded. It. Okay, what I'm going to do, which will be good really, I'll show you guys, um, I will just drop the mag out while I'm putting a new CO2 in, and um, yeah there's hardly anything in there. So if you haven't got a problem with your CO2 leaking, what you should do is, uh, this is just a little tub I made with a, a sponge in with some silicone grease in, but you can use silicone oil, all you want is a little dab, and what that does Make sure it seals and it makes your seal last longer and it makes the pin sort of punch your, your, your capsule easier. So just turn that. Sometimes you hear a little whoosh on this one, you didn't. So um, that's an indication that the seal is really good. So uh, put your hand grip bag on and you'll probably, I'm definitely going to feel the difference in your, your hair and uh, see First the few shots, you'll probably see a puff of CO2 out the front end as well. Yeah, the first shot you always get that. I just had a pallet fall out. So the only thing I'd say with these, um, you probably are better off using a pallet seater. Make sure they stay in. Um, and I should have had the safety on, I didn't. Safety off. Um, you'll probably see, you, when I first shot this, you probably saw the, the blowback action. Now, when I should have known, you won't see it, it's all quick because it's got a new gas tank in and we will probably do a little slow move on the video so you can see that um, going off. So here we go, I don't know how accurate this particular gun is. Uh, so it's uh, actually not just on this one, Dennis, as, as I said on a previous buckmark video that, you know... That's not a buckmark. No, on the buckmark video, oh, right. the sights are fully adjustable, like I said, on some guns they're not. This is one of them. Yeah. Um, so there we go. Uh, Thanks. Right, there we go. Uh, I'm not going to shoot all the gas because I borrowed the gun, already had some in, so I'll give it back with nearly a full tank. And um, thanks for watching. PT85, great gun, great value uh, if you're starting off shooting. It's not a bad gun. Um, one other thing I would say if you're Obviously the gun automatically cocks. Now when you first shoot it, if you've cocked that first, you'll get a more accurate shot because you're not you're not actually double action in the trigger. So uh, just a little tip there. Uh, Decocking it is easy. Always put your safety on. There we are. You shouldn't technically leave your gas tank in too long. This one has been left in for probably months and that's still okay. Not advisable to do that though. Um, use your gas tank up, take it out when you're finished using it and then you see it will last a much longer. But if I don't, watch the next video and we'll show you what to do if you've got a leaking gas tank. Thanks for watching.